harvesting our fresh tomatoes for a recipe. Hello friends, welcome to Jyoti Tandon's Kitchen. Today I'm sharing a recipe which is a versatile recipe and it's the recipe to make rajma and in the western world it's popular as chili but I would call it a vegetarian Indian chili. So let's get started. So the ingredients that we need are 2 cups of red kidney beans. I'm using Kashmiri rajma beans, 2 red onions, 4 red tomatoes, 3 4 green chilies but you can adjust that, 4 to 5 garlic cloves and about 1 inch of ginger. Also, the spices that we will use are turmeric, coriander powder, red chilli powder, some garam masala, salt and some jeera. You can also check out my channel on the recipe of how to make freshly ground garam masala. I like soaking fresh rajma for this recipe overnight but you can also use cans if you don't have the time. Next morning, I like to drain out all the water from the soaked rajma and I'm going to pressure cook it for one whistle with one teaspoon of salt in it. Step 2. I'm boiling two large tomatoes in two cups of water and I'm going to blend it. But you can also use ready-made puree if you don't have the time. Step 3. I'm chopping one red onion into juliennes. But the other red onion, I'm going to use it in making a ground paste. Step 4. For the remainder vegetables, which includes one red onion, two red tomatoes, the ginger, garlic and the green chilies. So we are going to now put all of these in the blender. Blend them to a coarse paste. Then in a non-sticking pan, taking one tablespoon of oil and I'm going to roast this masala, the gravy masala that we just made till it starts to leave oil from all sides for about 10 minutes. Now that our bhana masala is made, let's move on to the final cooking of the rajma itself. In a pressure cooker, I'm putting one ladle of oil, one teaspoon of cumin seed or jeera and let it sizzle two cloves, one inch of cinnamon stick, half a bay leaf and since the oil is nice and the cumin seeds are sizzling, I'm now going to add one onion, chopped onion into julienne, stir them really well till the onion turns lightly golden. So for about three to four minutes. Now that the onion is lightly golden, I'm going to put the bhuna masala that I just uh, made and ground the paste for. Adding one scoop or one ladle of bhuna masala. That's the tomato, onion, ginger, garlic paste. The three spices that I'm going to use at this time are half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of, of Kashmiri red chilli powder which brings a beautiful redness to the curry, one tablespoon of coriander powder. All of the spices well with the onions. So it's now time to add two cups of boiled rajma. Give it one good stir. I'm adding one teaspoon of salt. Finally, it's time to add the one cup tomato puree that we made earlier. Time to stir it all well. Please cook the rajma for about 10 minutes on low heat with the tomato puree, with the bhuna masala of onion, garlic, ginger, uh, tomato paste that we had added earlier and all of the spices. Also add 1 teaspoon of sugar. And finally, I'm adding 2 cups of water to the rajma and I'm going to close the pressure cooker and let it cook for 2 whistles. Now that the pressure pan has cooled down, I'm going to open it up and the rajma looks beautifully cooked. Add 1 fourth teaspoon or a pinch of garam masala. Stir it again. 
and finally garnish it with the cilantro that I just chopped. I'm also adding one tablespoon of cream. This is entirely optional. Our delicious Kashmiri rajma is ready. Hope you like this recipe. Please like and subscribe to Jyoti Tandit's Kitchen. And don't forget, eat naturally, live happily.